right y'all we are here at wakanda state park and when i tell you this is one of our favorite state parks now to be just honest we've only been to a couple in missouri but this is one of our favorites and i tell you why not only because we are wakanda forever but also we just love all of the amenities that this particular park has to offer. There are actually two campgrounds inside of this park, Wakanda Lake and Boulder Lake. We're going to show you Boulder Lake first. We'll show you Wakanda Lake. We'll show you a couple other features around here and give you an idea of if this might be a good place for you to book a stay. So again, there's two campgrounds here, Boulder Lake and Wakanda Lake. We're going to head into Boulder Lake now. Now this is the more primitive section of the state park. It does not offer sewer hookups and I don't think that there's water hookups either, but there are some nice sites over here. We'll call out a few and then, you know, just kind of let you see the overall vibe within this particular side of Wakanda. So this site coming up here is actually site number one. And if I were reserving a site here, I would actually spring for this one, mainly because it does have the privacy, unlike several of the other sites within the campground. So we've got sites two and three here as well. Still a little bit more tucked away from the main common area, but there is um, some general population uh, that's kind of tucked in here. So as you can see, there's plenty of tree cover for a good majority of these sites. We have uh, on the right here, site six, site seven, and so on and so forth as we make our way around this loop. So again, little bit of a tight quarters compared to some other state parks where we stayed and even compared to Wakanda Lake where we are actually camping right now. As you can see, they do have uh, scattered throughout the park, several dumpsters and what have you. And then there is also a recycling area as well. And if you were renting one of the walk-in campsites, those are actually over here as well. Like if you had a tent or something like that and we're walking back further into, uh, into the woods, I guess, so to speak. In this area, we kind of move into a place where we've got a few more tents. Uh, and this, this is actually being recorded. We're looking at this on a Tuesday over the weekend this place is usually hopping not only with campers but with tenters as well so just give you a couple ideas of again some more sites we've got site 32 here we've got site 34 here so just to give you again a general idea of what the campsites look like So back tuck in the back here, we've got 42 and 43. Then I'll show you right here as we roll around almost to the water, we've got site number 44. It's kind of a smaller site, but you're right on the water. Now this is Boulder Lake. So this is the smaller lake within Wakanda State Park. As you can see, the lake is a little bit, um, has a little bit of a drought to it. There hasn't been a whole lot of rainfall this summer yet, so you gotta replenish some of those waters, but it's not stopping the geese.
then again, we've got a couple people camping out in some tents over here. Um, and again, plenty of tree cover. They've got much more tree cover overall on this side than they do on the Wakanda Lake side, um, but it's nice. And the road is a little bit tight, but I think that it shouldn't pose much of a risk as long as you pay attention and stay on the road. Because we do have several little trees kind of all around the area. So for reference, we got site 60 coming up, site 61, 62, so on and so forth. And then you're not seeing it, but across the way with sites like 29, 30, etc. This is all pretty empty today. All these sites are vacant. But again, come the weekend, this will be So as we're coming out of the Boulder Lake side of the campground now, uh, again, primitive section, we've got, they do have full hookup sites in here. There's only a handful of them, but you'll see those as well in the video. But now we're getting ready to make our way over to the beach so that you can get a feel for that because that is one of our favorite things here at Wakanda. So welcome to the beach at Wakanda State Park. And again, we love this park because it has so many little amenities and it's so close to home. So as you can see, you have a little small sitting area right outside here. In addition to some other covered seating that you can just kind of sit if you're like, huh, I want to be beachside, but I don't really want to be beachside. You can sit at some of these tables and really relax right by the beach. We've done that, it's lovely, peaceful, quiet, all of that. And then as you make your way down, you're able to actually see the beach area. Now, you can't get to the beach from this side. There are some steps that lead you down, but you can see the water here. You can see the path leading into the beach. They've got some water fountains. They've got um, sand volleyball, things like that. It's really nicely laid out for you to really enjoy yourself if you are a get in the water or sit by the water type of person. So we don't have these sorts of amenities nearby in Missouri for the most part. So that makes Wakanda extra special. So as you can see, there's also uh, some additional seating over here. We've got a concession stand as well things like that. And then we do have a shower house here. I'm gonna take a peek inside, make sure that no one's in there, and then I'll show you around so that you can take a look at that also. All right, y'all. <laughs> so here's the shower house. We've got a small sink there, hand dryer, trash, and then you've got your actual bath area. Um, that is paint peeling on the wall, not stains. Uh, and this actually isn't a shower area. It's just a restroom. But wanted to give you a kind of vibe for how this is. So if you're looking in Wakanda, in the beach area, just in general, what your bathroom's gonna look like. Right outside the door here, so if you're going in there where the recreational area is, right outside the door you have steps that actually do lead you down into the beach area. And you've got some showers down there as well. And then the parking lot where you can come and park very easily. 
to visit the beach. Hey y'all, I know you're enjoying the video, but I wanna take the time to just say, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and be sure to leave a comment. We can't wait to hear from you. If you brought kids with you here to Wakanda, right in between essentially the Boulder Lake and Wakanda Lake campgrounds, you have this picnic and play area, which I find to be really nice. It's got a couple of tot swings, adults or teenage swings, in addition to a small playground in the back. So if you're bringing kids with you, not only will they be entertained by the beach, but they'll also be entertained by the stuff at the playground. So about those extra water activities. So we've got a boat launch here. So this is the Agate Agati. I don't know, help me out in the comments. How do we say that? But this is the boat launch here at Wakanda and you can get on here and get directly out into the water. So you can see there's already some people out here enjoying the water and some kayaks, but it's just a really nice vibe and not too far from the campground so it's kind of almost nestled in between boulder lake and wakanda lake campground as we take a look here you can see that we do have another boat launch here this is the wakanda lake boat launch and you are able to also rent kayaks over there on the right so you can rent kayaks from the park here and actually take them right out onto the water So now we are entering Wakanda Lake Campground, tucked all the way in the back of Wakanda State Park. This is the full hookup section of the campground. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you around. There's a, only a handful of sites over here. So it is a little bit more tricky to reserve these sites than it is to get them in the Boulder Lake area, but it's certainly much more worthwhile if you're longing for full hookups. So as we can see over to the right, all of the campsites almost uh, around the perimeter actually back up to the water, which is Wakanda Lake. And then we are really just able to take in nature here, honestly. It's beautiful. It is a great time. So there's an example of some sites just for reference. So once you make it to the Wakanda Lake side, this actually is sites in the hundreds. So this is site 105. It's a pretty nice site. And then you have next to that site 106. And so on and so forth. This site number 109 is actually a little tucked away, um, which I really like that a lot. Again, plenty of trees here. Not as tight in terms of overall tree coverage as we saw on the Boulder Lake side, but we definitely have some tree coverage here, which provides a decent amount of shade for a good majority of, of the site a small trail that you can walk down to get a little bit closer to the water if you so desire. It's foot traffic only, can't drive through there, but you do get a chance to get a little bit closer down to the water in that area. And that, my friends, is the Wakanda Lake Campground. Again, very small, comparatively speaking, but certainly worthwhile to get those full hookups. All right, y'all, so per usual, wanna give you a glimpse into how our site fits in the spot. For reference, we're in site number 108, and this site is really perfect. It is spacious. As you can see, we've got plenty of space for our 36-foot fifth wheel and our F350 dual leaf. You can also see that we've got a, uh, the site is, is gravel, but the patio is concrete got a picnic table there. We've got a small grill over there. 
And then in the rear of the site, we have a fire pit as well. So if you wanna sit outside by the fire and enjoy a view of the water, which we've got a back window, which makes this water view fantastic, okay? Site number 108, highly recommended. You can see that you've got plenty of space to spread out back here. And then from a utilities perspective, you can see that we've got pretty decent connections here. So our power is actually in the rear of the RV. So nice, easy hookups there, zero problems with these connections. You've got the water connection here. What I will note is that the water pressure was a little bit low, and I'm not sure if it has anything to do with this small leak that's kind of coming out of the spout here. That's consistent, so maybe that affected our water pressure. Sewer-wise, we're great. We have a good gravitational pull down to the bottom. So everything from a utility perspective worked out decently well. Again, the water pressure was low, but you can see all this space that we've got in front of our site, and you can kind of see what we're looking at as we step out so we don't have any neighbors in front of us. So it's really nice and peaceful overall. So now we're gonna walk down show you an example site just to give you a vibe of what these things look like empty and you can be the judge all right y'all so this is site number 106 again this is in the wakanda lake portion this has full hookups and you can see here you've got plenty of space to back up your rig and really kind of spread out just like with our site it's got the uh, gravel site and then the actual paved patio you got really nicely located water, electric, sewer hookups. And then again, you got this breathtaking view of the actual lake. And again, you can't beat this view with a stick. So you do have the picnic table, grill, and fire pit here as well. This site also has a little driveway that you can drive up with your vehicle. So overall, very, nice so thank you so much for sticking around with us if you enjoyed this video be sure to like comment subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single thing the next time we put out a video until then enjoy your time on the road and keep staying in the rv